What's up, doll collectors and gift givers? Here is another My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide. Yeah, so I got another smart doll. What? I totally took a break this time. I get so happy when one of these boxes show up at my house. Let's take out the tote bag that holds all the goodies. Keep calm and carry a smart doll. Roger that. Now let's see what's inside. A box of fun stuff and our new smart doll. Let's get her out of this plastic first. Let's see if we can straighten out her legs and remove the bubble wrap. There we go. Now we need to remove the plastic. To reveal our doll. This is Nostalgia. Her skin tone is tea, so she's darker than cinnamon, but lighter than cocoa. This is my first semi-real tea, and I'm loving her already. Her eyes are gray, you can see a little blush on her cheeks, and she has a little color on the lips. If you look closely, you can see her teeth. Usually, I shy away from dolls with painted teeth, but there have been some exceptions over the years. Sophie, Summer, and Minnie Toya. So I figured since I break my rules all the time, we can just let this one slide. Plus, she still has that serious face, which I love in the semi-real dolls. As with most smart dolls, she can move at the head. These dolls have a spine, so you can really get some good motion there. She can move at the chest, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the hip, the knee, and the ankle. Her upper body has a really nice range of motion. She comes dressed in the standard undergarments, kind of like a sports bra with matching undies. And because I really want that free shipping, I bought a few extra things. Let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, so here is her wig. This came with the doll. It is brown. I don't think it has bangs. No, this one doesn't have bangs. Boy, I am breaking all my rules today. I put her part on the side. Oh wow, she's pretty. And I'm okay with not having my bangs. The hair is very soft, very manageable. It stops right in the middle of her back, which for me is a really good length. I can't deal with too much hair. This is like, Perfect. I like the color. I have no complaints. Except for some mild shedding, but that can be expected with new hair. Here is her doll stand. The top matches her skin tone. It's a telescopic stand, which makes it very portable. It goes right into the hole in her back. Then adjust the length, and it acts kind of like a tripod. I always lean the doll back a little to make sure she doesn't fall forward. Included with the stand, there are some lovely warnings and some info on where to find smart dolls. You can check out Danny Chu on Instagram, whose website is shop.smartdoll.jp, and you can follow the hashtag smartdoll on Instagram to see what's happening in the smart doll community. This doll was about 486 US dollars. I also picked up hand pack one, which was about 92 US dollars. It comes with four sets of hands. Now I bought this set a while ago when I got Genesis, but it's in a different color. So since this doll is tea, I had to buy it again in her skin tone. Carefully remove the hand, then put on 
the new one. Good job, Toya. Nostalgia is giving me two thumbs up. Now she's telling you to hit that subscribe button. If you did, awesome. And if you didn't, where? Who needs text messaging when we can just communicate by smart doll? I also picked up the baggy knit cardigan. This was about 83 US dollars. Smart doll clothing can get incredibly expensive, but when you're trying to hit that free shipping mark, you do all kinds of things. It has a pocket in the front, really nice edge at the bottom. It's the same edge at the bottom of the sleeve. There's a little decorative hem that goes all the way around the opening and behind the neck. Not quite sure if this is called a hem, but that's what I'm calling it right now. On the inside, it's very clean. All of the seams are nice and neat. It has a little tag on the side. Let's go ahead and put it on the smart doll since she's been standing here in her undies the whole time. We just have to be careful that her fingers don't get caught. We don't want to snag the cardigan. It has a really nice length, a little bit past mid thigh. It's like almost to her knee. It's nice and baggy, giving it a lot of texture. Oh yeah, she looks super comfy in this sweater. Let's give her some pants from the Elite Doll World Etsy shop. These are the gray leggings from our Etsy review video. It's a lot of gray and gray, but she needs some pants. And she totally looks like a girl who's gonna sit on the couch and binge watch Star Trek Next Generation all weekend. What, just me? This look is actually pretty cute. I love the comfy, cozy style. The loose baggy sweater lays just right. It has a lot of texture. It kind of just stays wherever you put it. So she can put on a comfy sweater, then snuggle up on the couch and watch her favorite show. This doll is 24 inches long. We made this couch for our 18 inch dolls a while back and it totally works for our smart doll. Overall, I really like the skin tone. She has a nice rosy fresh color to her face. Very pretty doll. Still hoping for a shade between tea and cocoa though. Just saying. I did see on Instagram that a semi-real blue might be in the future. We're talking cosmic cuties, y'all. Nostalgia was on my wish list, so I am very happy I was able to get this doll. The cardigan is an awesome buy, great for photos. However, in the future, I might wanna just learn how to knit. It'll be a lot cheaper. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Nostalgia, the semi-real smart doll. Let us know in the comments down below if this doll is a buy or a pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>